Hi LCS students, it's Mrs. Peterson here. Today we're going to be talking about quilts. So, what is a quilt? A quilt is a blanket made from different pieces of fabric that are sewn together. These quilts often have designs that can either be random or they could be a pattern. We're going to start by looking at some quilts that are contemporary, which means they were made in the past 10 to 20 years. Here's a quilt that is spread over the grass as a blanket. Quilts can have two purposes. They can be used at your house to cover your bed and keep you warm, or they can be used as artwork. You'll find quilts hanging in art museums and galleries all over the world. This particular contemporary quilt has a variety of different designs. Some are random, and some have patterns that repeat. This quilt is made entirely of different fabric pieces of triangles that have been sewn together. This quilt comes from Lancaster County, which is right next to where we live in York County. It was made by a group of people called the Amish. Amish quilts are known for having quilt squares with designs inside of each square. Look carefully at this quilt. Can you tell what it's made of? If you guess jeans, you're correct. This quilt was made by taking old pairs of jeans that people were no longer using, cutting them up, and sewing them together to make a new design. The artist also added in some red scraps and some pattern scraps. This quilt comes from Gee's Bend, Alabama. In that town, there are a lot of quilters who are famous for their quilt designs. In Gee's Bend, Alabama, there's a long tradition of making quilts. Back in the day, when there were not a lot of supplies available to the artist, they used what they had, leftover scraps from blankets or clothing or whatever else they could get their hands on. The artist would take their time and make designs and carefully sew together a quilt. Here you can see a mother and two daughters all working together to sew a quilt. Today, the quilting tradition continues in Gee's Bend. Here's an artist who sews together quilts standing between her two different designs. Gee's Bend quilts are unique in that they have bright colors and random patterns and designs. They became famous when an art historian came to the area and discovered what beautiful creations the Gee's Bend artists made. The quilts have become so famous, they're now hanging in art museums and galleries across the country and can be worth thousands of dollars. Several years ago, the United States Post Office even noticed and created a collection of stamps based on the Gee's Bend designs. Aren't they beautiful? Another artist I'd like to talk to you about is Faith Ringgold. Faith Ringgold is an African-American artist who is famous for sewing quilts together, and then painting stories on top of her quilts. This is Faith Ringgold's most famous quilt called Tar Beach, which is also a children's story that she wrote. For this quilt, quilt, she sewed together all of her fabric pieces first. Then she painted the story on top of it. In this story, a little girl falls asleep and dreams about flying over the city owning any building that she flies over. This is another quilt design created by Faith Ringgold. You can see that the buildings are made of different pieces of fabric that were sewn together. Faith Ringgold then went back in and painted people going into the buildings and peeking out all of the windows. This is another famous quilt by Faith Ringgold. She painted different historical figures of famous African Americans on top of her quilt. She also painted a table full of food. The last work quilt we're going to look at was also made by Faith Ringgold. For this quilt, she made a border around the outside of different squares of fabric, and then she painted a variety of different people in the middle. So that was just an introduction to different kinds of quilts for the next part of this project, you're going to be designing your own quilt. I'll see you soon.